It's as simple as that. We say Big Mama because every clan called their tribal mother Big Mama. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. Mud deer, Nana. Right? It just depends on who she was, but the tribal mother, we called them Big Mama. God. He, 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 he directly described the nature of lions. But what's the nature of the gorilla? Hmm. Same thing. A female no, gorilla. not the same thing. When a when a male gorilla take over, he don't kill none of the babies. Mm. Well, I he know father them all. What? The reason why I pointed out the difference in the nature of the lion and the gorilla is the evolution of the masculine in the species. The ev uh, the evolved masculine understand that the nature of the feminine she may have children when he meet her. And the evolved man is going to nurture and father them children like they his own. But the unevolved man is going to have an attitude with the children and become easily frustrated with them because they not his own. It's a difference. It's a different. It's levels to this shit. I understand. But we talking about gorillas or men because you're saying the uninvolved. Man. The same reason, the same way you matched up the lions I'm just showing you that the difference in the two species, the human species is above all that shit. But we don't want to accept that reality yet. We ain't culturally mature enough again. We have to remature back into the evolved beings we were when we nurtured everything on the planet, including the lion and the gorilla. Earlier. One of the sisters mentioned their uncle had always surrounded himself with a group of women. I was just getting ready to say that. There's something else that happens when you surround yourself with a group mm -hmm. of women. You live longer. Mm -hmm. Most loyal people, most loyal soldiers. Look, we ain't even Never got to that part. I'm talking fact. about the energetic difference. That's a fact. Right. The mitochondrial support from multiple women allows the man to heal from some shit that he wouldn't have healed from without her. A group of women, we... a group of balanced women are Tesla coils of healing mitochondrial resonance. This is metaphysical science and the tribes was based on metaphysics. We move on the earth like the stars move in the sky. See, I, I, yeah. Wait, apostle, let him finish. Yeah. They it's all energy. You. It's all energy and energy management, resource management. As the gods, we ain't supposed to be walking around here trying to pretend to be animals. We supposed to do God shit. So I'm not finna go pissing on every tree I walk past like a dog just because I'm a man. But a dog gonna piss on every tree he go past to make sure a person notices his territory. The most I'm going to do is stake a totem pole. Yeah, gonna right? If we're going to be gods, we're going to have to do some god shit. If we're going to be mortals, we're going to have to do some mortal shit. But the first thing we got to do is figure out the difference in the goddamn two. You can't call yourself a god. You don't do no god shit. You're just a mortal who aspire to godhood. But you have the potential to become the God as soon as you realize what it takes to ascend to that level. Everybody ain't on the same level. Every, that's why information goes through trickle down. I might be able to tell one person something and I could tell an entirely different person the same thing. And they both one of them understand it. The other one don't. The one that don't can go talk to the other person I talked to, get the explanation, and it makes perfect sense to him. But it didn't make sense when I told it to him. But I told it to the person that explained it to him. So now you see that the information has to go through a trickle down effect. We playing plinko with the knowledge. We just trying to get back to the balance of the nature and the human family by restoring the matriarch because that's the natural structure of the human family, not because the women is better or not better than the man. 
Put the power where the power go. The machine run the way it's supposed to run, and we got heaven on earth. But if you keep the power where it don't belong, you're going to always have misery and suffering as a result of people inappropriately applying power to the wrong places at the wrong time, creating the wrong result. It's basic mathematics. I well, we all melanated. I know that much. I think Comedian thinks there's a difference. I don't think so. Yeah, well, we look the George Washington challenge is a challenge between chiefs and thirty-two degrees Scottish right Freemasons from England, right. Spanish okay. and French. This is what the George Washington challenge is about. What side of the ocean you originate from? That part. That's the George Washington challenge. I didn't make that shit up. I just pulled it out the history books to show it to y'all. It's a it's the war between the two nappy head motherfuckers. The good had to suffer with the bad, and the pale face was the referee. Why he got his drop of blood in his reign of terror? We not the same people. Mm. Half the That's motherfuckers sad. ain't got no soul, and you know the ones that ain't got no soul because they stuck on the same foolishness. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of righteous moors over here. They are under Angel Bay. If they ain't under Angel Bay, then they're going to find out soon enough where the tribe stand with the dirty Moors because they got all their names on the ledgers in the Moorish consulate uh, other, in the list of the dirt they did. That ain't my house to clean up. I'm just here to tell the people the story and where to find the information at. Right. Right. So if you don't know what the George Washington challenge is, you still bark in nationality. You only have cocked. No, Drew Ali didn't say get a rudimentary um, Moorish education. He said get a good Moorish education. That means trace the motherfuckers back to their source. When they came out the Middle East from the Sinai uh, Mountains under the Baptib uh, Babylonian captivity with their blood magic, sex magic, and money magic, moved across the uh, northern portions of Africa across the Iberian Peninsula and moved into Italy and called themselves Etruscans. Then they changed their name again. They keep changing their name because they don't think we know how to track their dumb ass. Right. They tell us the stories. Half of them went up into settle in West Turkey and formed the Ottoman Empire, what they call the Byzantine Kings. Right? So we know the difference in the people. It's right. just that the ones that's the dirty moors don't never want us to resolve the matter definitively. We ain't no goddamn moors. Sounds like the horrors to me. More is a catch term to encapsulate two separate groups of people under the same uh, phenotypical identity for the purposes of a conjure war. I like that. I like that. That's what it's all about. Feathers versus fences. I never heard it like that before. I like that. Right. It's, in, it's, it's all in the imagery, in the iconography. They got the pictures of the Moors over in Europe eating the babies. They telling us the whole time why they kicking them out of Europe. You think they weren't going to eat babies when they got here? Oh, they just stopped eating babies when they got here and started trying to pretend to be us and carry themselves like we do. They can't. They don't have the discipline and the internal fortitude to be able to assimilate all of the monotheistic religion that they brought over here with them. They can't even follow that shit. And we became more Christians than the Christians, more Muslim than the Muslims. And we were none of that shit before 1492. And now niggas want to stand up and argue that we some goddamn shit that wasn't over here before Columbus came and fight you to the goddamn death. Because you know who you is and it don't agree with the narrative that the settlers and the colonizers is forcing down our goddamn throat, telling us we came from somewhere else. And how we'll the fuck no all our ancestors know how to navigate the land if they ain't from here? Interesting. The fight for reparations is a distraction from all of the melanated people, no matter where they at. Stop, they stop, 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 stop. Wait a minute. Hold on. Stay where we at. You're telling me that the fight for reparations can only be claimed by descendants of slaves. Is that correct? Yes or no? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. saying that the reparation. Hold on. Listen, saying. listen. 
The reparations program that's been rolled out to us is for the descendants of slaves. Okay, they right. have not rolled out a reparations for us to recover the land. So that stop, didn't stop. roll out from stay them. Stay with me. Hold on. Stay with me. Let's th keep it in keep it in buckets. Keep it in buckets. The fight for reparations is only for people who say that they're descendants for slaves. Yes or no. Yeah, that's what the right, fight cool, for cool, reparations cool, cool. that yeah, we right, that right, we right, following right. is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's the best question of the day. Right? Because this is the reason why. The American Indian is not the aboriginals to the land. The American Indian is paper genocide and the aboriginals to the land. The American Indian can be anybody that was rolled in under the Dawes Act. That don't got nothing to do with us. Our way is we cannot defeat them using their system. Our ancestors left us a system of redemption that I've been following for five years and it's been working. We don't see all 